That's right. The rain has held off. I've got my boots on, though. We're putting a little bit of a twist on back to school week. We're at the UBC farm. And imagine if your classroom was farm. That's what they're doing here. A new spin on sustainability and resiliency on food systems, not only locally, but globally. Coming up, we're going to be letting the chickens out. They've turned off the electric fence for us. We're here at the UBC farm and Julian has just let the chickens out. They're going to be having a little stroll. They are out all day long. They're free range chickens. Julian, what time do you usually do this at? Well, uh, we got up a little early for you. Normally they get out about 8 a.m. And they have this whole day to roam around here and you, you put them back in at night, right? Yeah, they'll naturally go back into their houses in the evening to go to bed. They have, uh, um, basically they all rest on, uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and they, it's distracting with all these chickens. And they come over to these little silos and get the, uh, is it grain that you feed them? Yeah, so they're fed all organic feed that we source locally from the Fraser Valley. I mean, the, sea, uh, the feed's from the prairies, but the guy who distributes it is out there in Abbotsford. Yeah. And uh, they're organic free range birds. So. And what do you actually do with the chickens here? I assume it's all about their eggs. Yes. Uh, uh, in the past, there has been research projects done with the birds, um, looking at different food choices and how they respond to that. Yeah. Um, but currently, it's just uh, they're just a part of the working farm. So we collect the eggs daily, and uh, they're a hot commodity at our market. They are awesome. And what is the sort of mandate of the UBC farm? Because it is such a unique research facility, uh, an outdoor lab. It's very special. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. A major part of my faculty at UBC, yeah. so it is all about research and developing uh, sustainable approaches to agriculture, but it also has to maintain uh, like a working farm status. We got to make ends meet around yeah. here, and uh, we're a legitimate farm. Exactly. All right, thanks, Julian. Uh, good information there. Uh, guys, we'll throw it back to you before the uh, chickens eat all our cables, and we'll let them get back to their feeding time. So cool. We're at UBC Farm all morning long. It's a special twist on Back to School Week. Look at them pecking my hunters. So yes, we're at UBC Farm, and this is a, uh, a table display of some of the uh, wonderful products uh, that we get from the harvest here. Nora, you're a staff member here, and tell us about how the public and even students can get involved and sort of reap the rewards of the wonderful harvest here. So there's a few different ways uh, the public and students can get involved. Yeah. Um, this table is an exhibit of our community supported agriculture program. Okay, and that's the CSA, right? You got it, okay. CSA, a very lovely acronym. Um, so we have a lot of students who are members as well as staff, faculty, and essentially they're buying a share of produce for the whole season. Right. And they're riding out the waves of um, risks and rewards that always come along with small organic farming. Yeah, because it's, it's a little bit volatile at times. You may not have one uh, crop one year or one season so people can actually sign up and then they get a quota uh, of all the great sort of uh, elements uh, that, that go into the produce and it's a chance to actually try vegetables that they may not ever have access to right yeah and this is a good example of one um, we have Italian dandelion greens here right here beautiful which a lot of people think we just like plucked a dandelion plant and put it in a bunch but this is actually <laughs> you can eat it you can eat it yeah. and this is a different type um, grown specifically for its greens it's really nutritious full of iron and so this has been a, um, a new thing for lots of people as well as fresh shelling beans here yeah, um, yeah these are an amazing heritage variety called Annie Jackson's brought over from Russia to southern Manitoba and lots of people have never had the privilege of eating fresh shelling beans before awesome thanks so much Nora and there is a farmers market here uh, on site and also at, at the uh, on campus as well right that's right um, right here um, in front of the bookstore on Wednesdays and also some of our food goes into UBC food services so it's getting snuck into the cafeterias. Excellent. There's some vegetables going into the cafeteria food, you guys. Thanks a lot, Nora. We're at UBC Farm all morning long. A little bit of a twist on Back to School Week. And we're inside one of the greenhouses, and we've got a variety of squashes here and all kinds of wonderful things. We're going to be learning a little bit more about the work they do here at the UBC Farm and how students and the public can take advantage. Stick around. That's right, healthy snacks, you guys. Thanks very much, Jody and Riaz. I'm here in one of the greenhouses at the UBC farm, and Hannah, you're a professor here at the school, and talk to us about some of the uh, work that is done here at the student level. Great. So we host about uh, 30,000 individual stu student visits here at the farm. These are students that come from across campus as yeah. well as from the community. So we have an intergenerational landed learning project. Children come in our children's garden in the back here. They also work with elders from the community, from the indigenous communities around here, and also from the farming community to learn about sustainable food systems. By that we mean food systems that feed people and, and don't harm the planet. 30,000 people. That's a lot of students. And uh, that to me uh, signals that there are 
are a lot of people interested in this. And ha has there been a lot of resurgence in terms of sustainability and farming practices? We have seen that. We have a lot of interest amongst young people to get into farming. They're really looking at a small scale organic farming model, which right. we do teach here in our farm practicum. They're also looking to connect with community. So these are uh, farmers market projects. We have projects with community supported agriculture that you saw in the previous segment. So we're learning practices that actually engage people in sustainable food systems through growing squash and also through looking at food systems policy to ensure, for example, more sustainable school lunch programs. Yeah, and this generation actually really seems to uh, harness that well. I mean, you always hear about the 100 mile diet, about the uh, the sort of popularity of, of farmers markets and things like that. So it's very reassuring knowing that tomorrow's you know generation is really going to be upholding these sustainable practices. Right, so for example, we have about 700 students enrolled in our nutrition program yeah. here at UBC, and those students will work in government, they will work in the Ministry of Health, and they will actually learn about they, what they learn here about sustainable food will translate into dietary practices and recommendations. So it's not just about how the food is grown, but it's also extending that to how it's, eat, how it's prepared, how it's eaten. So much of this food actually will go into the UBC Food Services Program, right. uh, into the dining halls, and then also onto the plates of Vancouverites who come to the farmer's market. Unbelievable. Thanks very much, Hannah. There you go, uh, Jody and Riaz, right from the uh, crops here in the harvest at UBC Farm to the dinner plates of people all over town. Very cool stuff. Nice system. All right, Riaz, I wish I could see you right now, but I'll check it out when I get back to the station. Thank you very much. We're doing a sustainable twist on Back to School Week. We're at the UBC Farm, and coming up next, we're taking a tour of their heritage apple orchard. Absolutely lovely. Thanks a lot, Jody. We're at UBC Farm. We're celebrating Back to School Week with a bit of a sustainable twist. We're at the Heritage Apple Orchard, and Emma, you're a UBC graduate, and you work at the farm here, right? I do. That's right. Okay, this seems very special because this isn't your run-of-the-mill sort of gala apples that you'll get at the supermarket. These are very special, and they're apples that you basically can't get in most places, right? At yeah, stores. that's absolutely right. How many um, varieties do you have here? We have over 65 different types of heritage apple varieties. 65? Yeah. I was thinking you know, there's like a dozen tops maybe. Right. Most people know about a dozen types of apples that you find in the supermarket, right. but actually there's over 7,000 varieties worldwide. Amazing. Yeah. And then there's so many great uh, diverse colors and yeah, uses. textures, uh, tastes. What are some of the sort of differences between each of the apples? Right. Well, we have apples that are great for fresh eating called yeah. dessert apples. Then we have cider apples, cooking apples, apples that are great for juicing. Um, and yeah, they're all different colors and ripen at very different times. Right. So so some of these, like the ones we're looking at here, they yeah. will be harvested a little later in the season? Yeah, mid-September, early October, which right. is when most of our apples are ready. And then you ha you do have a batch of apples that will actually be uh, picked this Friday, right? Yeah, we do. We harvest every week now. Okay. Um, we're harvesting the Gravensteins on Friday. Nice. Yeah. And which, what's your favorite? Sorry, go ahead. No problem. No, the Gravensteins are a really popular apple. Yeah. Um, Probably the Belle de Buscou. Okay. It's from the Netherlands and was developed in the 1800s. Wow. And it's just a really complex, tart, sweet apple. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. And then how can students sort of get involved with the orchard and what kind of work do you do with the students here uh, in terms of, you know, teaching about sustainability and just getting them involved in the farm? Right. Well, we have volunteers who are primarily students who come out and get to try their hands at weed management or pruning workshops for our practicum students every yeah. spring, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. And then I have one student who's the apple intern and she helps me with the harvest and sales. So talking up the apples at the market. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much, Emma. I've had so much fun today. Apple intern. How about that? Come on down. It's a UBC farm. They're looking for volunteers. Good stuff. we got a weather forecast with Russ coming up. Don't go anywhere.